Hello all and welcome to FitBuzz, the official new YouTube channel. I've done many videos, but this is the new YouTube channel. This is what you're watching the new videos on. What's going on FitBuzz? What's going on FitBuzz? Question and answer. That's what this video is. This is part one of a two-part series this week. This week there might be more. And what is it? It's basically a collection of questions that a lot of you have been sending in on different topics and I'm just going to put them all on here on video and answer them for you and answer them for you. Now today's question and answer is pretty much to go over some of the topics that I have that you've been answering on Instagram, you've been asking on Instagram and Facebook and email. Those are the main places where FitBuzz is most active, right? So today, I'm going to walk and talk you through, just have a nice little conversation on just a couple of topics that you've been asking, right? You've been asking. So you can see a few images on this page, and you'll, you'll, you'll realize why they're there in just a moment. All right, so let's begin. So. One of the first questions that came up was um, the Christmas binge. Is there's, there's a lot of people that have been on a Christmas binge and they're still trying to shed the weight, or they have shed the weight. So this question that's come up more than once now in the past week is, I've gained ten pounds since Christmas. I need to shred. I need to shred. Now this is inside the gyms and online with all you, all of you guys, with all of you, right? With all of you, and. Uh, yeah, it's, it's guys and girls actually, because I train with guys and girls. Um, some are fit buzzers. I've met some of you from online and I trained you offline. Miss Brown, you're one of them. Um, so how do you how do you shred? I mean, I want to keep this really simple. I don't want to go into any complicated things today. You could, you could, a lot of you may have read the emails and there's a lot of... Um, complex things in the emails or if you're on a program you would have read it. a lot of in-depth stuff so today is about simple we're gonna keep it really simple so the first thing you're gonna do is focus on nutrients and not the calories I've given you the precise calorie calculator but that's just a gauge it's a gauge and to, and to follow a process to follow a process when you get that calorie calculator you understand it's simple you just enter your age you enter your weight and it calculates a near precise calorie intake for you. you. You use it as a gauge. You don't, you know, you don't stick to that exactly. You just use it as a gauge. What you've got to do is focus on the nutrients. Focus on the nutrients. Don't focus on your calorie intake every day. If you, if you eat clean and you, and you eat, how I'm going to tell you to eat in just a moment, that's more important than focusing on calories every single day. You'll go crazy. You'll be a robot. You'll be like, oh, calories. Oh, calories. No. So you focus on the nutrients, right? And the first thing you're going to do is, well, there's three parts to this now. Now, you're going to fo focus on nutrient-dense foods. Now, there's three parts to this. Now, it's high protein and high carbs, right? But it's the right proteins and the right carbs at the right time. So if you want a high-protein food source, you want food that has less fat in it, um, possibly less carb and high protein, right? I want to go to the food sources here. If you're on any of the programs or if, or if you looked at any of the documents or free ebooks that I've given you, you would see what those are. The second thing you're going to do is to get nutrient dense, you could take supplements. You could take supplements. When you take supplements, it's like the holes and the holes and the, and the tap effect. You know, if you, if you drink water, if you turn on the tap, you get the water gushing straight away. If you use a hose, a garden hose, Right, you and it takes a little longer. That's so that's a so that's comparing because that's can that's that's an example of how your digestive system works. When you eat slow digestive foods, it'll be more like the holes, and when it's fast digestion foods, it's more like tap because you turn it on and psh, you get it straight away. And that's where you take supplements. So that's one part of getting nutrient dense and getting the right nutrients inside of you when you need them. And the third thing is is you need variety. Um, as you may know, proteins contain 20 or so, 20 plus amino acids, right? And you, uh, not, there's very, very few foods that you can get those in. 
right? So when you go to Whole Foods, you'll find foods that are very nutrient dense and may contain um, a good variety, more variety of proteins than one food source and having to spread them out. And as you may know, combining food sources will boost, you know, combining a protein food source, another protein food source that has different proteins will boost the protein power. So that in short is how you go nutrient dense. Now, the other thing to shred is the same reason why I've created the Aphrodite workout this month or last month. Um, go high frequency and do less cardio. Do less cardio. If you work out four days a week, you're a lady, you do the Aphrodite workout, it will kick your butt. You know, I've done the workout. You can see the video where I've done the workout. It was just a sample, a home workout sample. But if you use weights, if you do it, it will kick your butt. If you think it's not going to kick your butt and you, uh, and you think it's easy, bro, increase the weight and let's see what happens. I'm I can assure you it will kick your butt. Do less cardio. If you're going to do cardio, do hit. Do it for like 30 minutes. And that's it. Do it like once a week. Just once a week. Just once a week. Once a week. Once a week. And for the rest of the days, it'll be four days a week. You train um, intense at high frequency. That will help you boost your shred. That will help you boost your shred. I'm not going to go into the details again. Just do that, and I can assure you the shred will come. Now, if you look below, you're going to see uh, two people. You're going to see. A FitBuzz follower, her name's Alondra, and you're going to see another FitBuzzer called Natasha. Uh, she, she's, um, she's the answer to this question. How can I kill my Christmas fat that I've built up? Um, so she, she basically sent in some progress pictures last week, which you can see below. Um, yeah, she shredded, so... The before picture was just before Christmas, and the after picture was end of March. Following, not the fit by nutrition, but she followed the workouts. And essentially, what what's what's happening? What I'm seeing is a lot of fit buzzers are following one part of fit buzz and adding something else. It could be another program. It could be it could be something else. It could be another nutrition program, another another cardio program, and they get results. So if there's something you like that's cardio, just do that. Just do that and do fit buzz. See what the results are because you learn from doing. So that's question one out of the way, right? Get your nutrients right, get it nutrient dense and do high frequency, intense weight training and less cardio. Number two, butt. How can I build a butt? Now everyone, you know, talks about squats, 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 squats. It's more than just a squat. That's kind of what I named. Operation S curve. It's more than just a squad. I mean, I'm gonna change. I've already changed the name now. It's because Operation S curve is just, um, it's just the the complete, the most done for you, fit bar program that I've set up to date. To date, it's combined all of everything that was created within the past year into one program that you can follow along and use step by step and tweak along the way very easily. You know. If that exercise doesn't work for you, do that one. It, it, it works a similar um, part to your body. And, you know, that's just one example, right? So how can you get a butt? Everyone's asking them. How can I get a butt? I need my butt. And everyone's, I need the butt, right? Well, in the past few emails, you would have seen a few exercises that you can do, um, that, you can, that you can implement into your workout. So, as you may know, the programs are all about structure, right? You know, for example, you do your warm-up, uh, you do free compound exercises, uh, but to do what you do is, you work the lower body compound exercise, take a break by doing an upper body exercise, an exercise that targets your upper body, and then follow along by another lower body exercise. And you finish off and do a few other exercises. That's one of the workouts from No Nonsense Butt Building. That's just one example of what I mean by workout structure, right? Now, the thing you've got to do is, with exercises, because you talk about targeting to target your butt, you know. Nutrition, the nutritional parts, one part of it, as we know, which I've discussed. What you've got to do is, you've got to increase your calorie intake, right? But do it using... The chart that you can see below. Follow that in terms of the type of foods you need to eat and when you need to eat them. 
but increase that intake so uh, what that does is, is it, it ensures that you won't be weight training um, and getting no results because when you weight train you have to eat more but if you eat in the way that this chart tells you below you'll be just fine and you will grow your butt and your S curve in a way in how Alondra looks and how now Natasha looks now one thing I'm gonna, one thing I'm going to say is I'm going to end it here now because that's what I'm going to say for this video is when you do your exercises you do your exercises, you pick an exercise you pick exercises that 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 have a force have a force a directional force that flow in the same direction in the way your muscle fibers are aligned right so some of your muscle fibers are vertically aligned and some of them are horizontally aligned and you perform exercises that will target those muscle fibers so for example vertical would be the squat exercise one normal example and for horizontal an exercise may be the hip thrust or the glute bridge right so that's it how to shred and how to build your butt it's a simple version now video number two I am going to show you a workout that that includes exercises from Saturday's email so if you got Saturday's email you would have seen some combo exercises some of those exercises are hybrid exercises some of them are uh, some of them are, come from the powerlifting side of things but we can use them to help you get the result that you want so that's it from me this is a normal video number one in the next video part two I'm gonna do a workout just like you saw me doing the Aphrodite where I got my butt kicked even just through in the, doing a normal um, just a normal bodyweight workout the next video I'm gonna show you the workout because instead of just um, having the work the, the exercises there some of them are very complicated and I'm just, just gonna show them to you so that's this video that's this this video over for now Next video, we're going to kick some butt. So, weights, protein shakes, the first word I'm not going to say, it's pretty bad. Make stuff happen, get up. You know, a lot of people are saying, how do I start? Just start, just start, get up, no messing about. And let's make this happen, come on! Alright, I'm going to see you in tomorrow's video, and for now, bye-bye, eat some food.